everyone, this is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Welcome to our YouTube page. Super excited to have you here today. And I've been getting a lot of requests from people about Christina and I's relationship. How did we meet? How did I consciously create the woman of my dreams? How did she consciously create the man of her dreams? And so today's video is to give you the wisdom and the understanding and the process in what we've done and what she's done, what my mentors have shared with me and taught me that's worked for them and some of my clients. The process that I'm gonna give you today is exactly what I deliver to my high paying clients and their living life with their soulmate, with the one that completes them. For example, I have a client a few years back, we were working together, we went through today's process that I'm gonna share with you and within a year or two, he found his queen, they got married, they're living together, they're having an incredible time throughout life. Just recently, I had a client of mine, a super successful executive. He was you know, previously divorced and just really looking to find his lover for life. And we went through this process and we consciously created, I'm gonna give you everything that I shared with him. And here we are a couple months later, within two months, I can't promise you two months, but for him it was within two months that he found the girl that he wants to spend the rest of his life with. I'm super excited to share this with you because it can make a world of difference in your life. I'm challenged and I'm excited. I'm challenged because I only have a short amount of time with you today that I can't peel back the layers and go deep with you all. And if we want to work together one-on-one -on -one or working with one of our coaches with Master Life by Design, you are more than welcome to to help you dig through this process. And I'm excited because who knows what you can create. I know the magic and what it feels like to find that partner for life, the one that you want to spend eternity with, and to really be able to live life every day with your lover. So... With that, I'm ready to jump in. I don't know about you guys, but if you're ready, let's go grab your notebook. If you need to put this on pause, hit pause, but go grab your notebook because you're gonna to wanna to take notes and I'm gonna have you going through the exercise also at the same time. So here we go. The first thing you wanna know when it comes to creating the lover of your dreams is that you have to number one, get clear on what you want. You have to get extremely clear on what it is that you want in a partner. Let me preframe this. You are not being selfish by identifying everything you want in a partner. You're not being superficial. These are some of the things and the questions that I get from time to time. Well, Joe, isn't it being superficial? You know, am I not being too picky? Here's the deal. If God, your creator, the universe, whatever you want to label it, was to come to you and say, hey, if you want this amazing partner in your life, I'm going to add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I'm going to give you whatever you want. What do you want? What would you say? Well, I don't deserve this. I don't know if I can have too much of this. They can't be too loving. They can't be too faithful. Right? No. That's silly. You would actually say, give me this and give me that. And I want all this. And oh, give me all of that. Right? So this first list, I want you to write down everything in a partner that you desire. So here's some examples that I go through with clients. What kind of career do they have? Right? Do they work a nine to five? Do they own their own business? Are they a consultant, a coach, an author, a speaker? Right? What, it, what kind of career do you want them to have? How much money do you want them to make? Money's not everything. And if you're paying for everything, eventually it can be a little bit of a challenge. What kind of relationship do you guys want to have when things go wrong, when things go south? Do you want them to blow up and make a big fight about it or what we call a speed bump about it? Do you want them to just forgive and be open and willing to try again? What do they look like? Are they tall? Are they short? Are they thin? Are they curvy? You know, for men, I always go into, you know, hey, what kind of breast size do you want? What kind of booty size do you desire? What kind of tummy do you desire? Facial expressions. What is it for you? Women, do you want them to have muscles or do you not care? Do you want them to be tan or don't? Does it not matter? Right? We want to get down. What do they look like physically for you so we have a clear picture? Now, here's a funny thing is on my list, I had, uh, I would like a blonde, but I could be okay with a brunette. And Christina, well, she's a brunette and she's smoking hot, right? So there's some things we'll talk about on this list that 
or they're, you're open if something else comes your way. So let's get clear on this list first. So also, what kind of, um, how do they treat your friends? How do they treat your family? You know, are they all about being with your in-laws and your, your um, maybe your brothers and your sisters? Or hanging out with your friends? Do they like to host? Do they like to go out? Or are they more reserved? Can they be the center of the party? Do they love you at the party? Do they show public, um, you know, PDA, public uh, display of affection? What is it that you desire? Do they fill up your love tank by understanding your love language? Are they into personal growth? Where would they like to travel? Who would they like to be with when you go and travel? How do they manage finances? How do they manage time? How do they manage their emotions? This is everything I would start capturing down on this first list. Also, what kind of sexual experiences do you want? See, most people don't talk about this. And here's what I know. A great relationship without intimacy is merely a friendship. It's just a friendship. So if you're going to be lovers, what kind of love do you guys want to make? How do you want to experience it? You know, do you guys do the same position every time? Are you open to oral? Are you not open to it? Are you open to other partners? If that's your thing. Are you not open to other partners? So we want to be conscious of what kind of love life and get detailed. Do you play dress up? Do you role play? Now, these are some things that I work with clients around when it comes to the spicing up their relationship. And so we shouldn't get to the point where we have to rekindle it or spice it up. We want to constantly be doing these things. So take a little bit of time. If you need to press pause, go ahead and press pause, but identify everything you want in a partner. There's not too much you can ask for. You can never go overboard. And for me, I created my list and my coach calls her Miss 58 because I had 58 things that I desired in this ideal woman. So when you're doing this list, you can do it now or you can come back and watch it later. What I would encourage you to do is first and foremost, Get into an environment where you just feel abundant. Maybe put on some music, some baby making music to kind of get you in that state. You know, when I did my list, I went to the pool, had my computer, and I put on some Boys to Men and some other R&B, and I just started typing away on what I wanted in my ideal partner. And so that's what I'm going to invite you to do. You can go ahead and write some things down, but make sure you go through all the fine details so that you can create this extraordinary relationship for yourself. All right. Got it? Awesome. Well, if you haven't done it, go back. Don't go on before you got this one done. This is very important. Now we're going to move on to the second list. And that second list is everything that's a non-negotiable for you in a relationship. Maybe you don't want someone who travels all the time and you can't go with them. Maybe it's someone that you don't want that is very flirtatious and they flirt with other people. Maybe it's just they're a jerk or they're a bitch. Right? And you just don't like that attitude. They have no emotional fitness. So we want to see what are all the things that are non-negotiables. That if that, this shows up consistently for this person that you're meeting, that you know what? They're great. They might have everything on that first list. However, moving forward, it's a no-go because they have these things. Here's what I want to say about this list. is You want to give the person that you're getting to know, you want to make sure first and foremost that you actually give them an opportunity to shift. My wife had something on our non-negotiable list that I didn't like, that was a no-go. And I gave her the option, I said, hey, you know, this is what I don't want in a relationship, in a partner, and either you change or you can continue to do what you do and we're just not gonna be a fit for each other. And she gave it up and she's never gone back. And I'm super grateful because here we are, we're married, and passionately in love and growing together each and every single day. So I promise you it's worth it. Give people an opportunity to make that shift. All right. Now, these first two lists are great. They give you immense clarity. And if you do the first two lists without the third list, you're not going to get the person that you want in your life. And you might be saying, well, Joe, I have total clarity and I heard clarity is power. And you're absolutely right. And... The third list is really important. So if you haven't gotten through the first and second list, pause this, go back, watch this, and complete that list so you can move on to the third list. All right, the third list is the most important one out of all of them because you can have total clarity, but if you don't take action, if you don't have fuel in the tank, you're not going to go anywhere. And so this third list is about 
Who do you need to be to attract this great king or queen into your life? Who do you need to become? What are some of the things that you know you need to work on? For example, I know I needed to work on jealousy. I knew I needed to work on trust, self-love, self-image, self-worth. I had to work on not being as selfish. I needed to work on giving more, just to give a few examples. So what is it for you? What do you need to work on? Maybe you need to trust more. Maybe you need to love yourself more. Men, maybe you got to stop being the nice guy and the people pleaser. Women, maybe you need to speak up a little bit. Maybe you need to, or some of the common themes that I found with some of my higher end clients that are are really in the business world and they want to find love. Maybe you got to stop being so masculine and step into your radiant uh, femininity. So what is it for you? Now this list may or may not be shorter than the second list and that's okay. But what are some of those things so that each day you can consciously start working on it Maybe you need some help. Maybe you need to work on time management and implementing some of the things you need to work on. Maybe you need some tools or resources. Or maybe you need a coach to help you and support you along that way and getting some clarity around this and having the discipline to work on it each day. The way I like to think of this third list is if you think about it, we're all energy. If we drill down to the smallest particle that we can see, it's all energy, it's light. And since we're all energy, that means that we operate on a certain frequency. So for example, when I was manifesting my queen, my queen, if you think about it as a radio frequency, right? She was at 102.1, the radio station, whereas I was operating at the frequency of 88.9. And so I needed to work on myself to increase my frequency so I can match her frequency. And as soon as I did that, we became in tune. I could start to hear her more clearly. I got to see her clearly. And that's when I connected with her. And in fact, I think it was actually like four or five months later that we actually connected at an event and started our relationship a month later. So super excited about that. But if you think about it in terms of frequency, who do you need to be? You gotta change the, that internal dial that to become more, to become even greater and loving than you already are. And so when you can do that, that's when you're going to radiate at that same frequency as your partner. That's when you'll find her. Some people, they do it faster than others. Some people, they just need a little bit more time and that's okay. So these are the three lists that I highly encourage you to go through. Now, the first list, here's what I will say around the first list. You can always add to it and you want to make sure that some of these items or these qualities are negotiable. For example, having blonde hair or brown hair, right? If they are 5'10 or 6 foot, right? Depending on how important that is to you. So there may be some flexibility. And, you know, God has a sense of humor, so you might not know by the looks of this person sometimes, but the heart of that person. That's why it's important to get into their heart and who they are as an individual so you can see through the physical because guess what? The physical goes away too eventually. Like the looks start to dissipate over time. But they are important also. All right, let's recap here. So the first list is everything that you want in your partner, your ideal partner, all the qualities, all the attributes. And remember, some of them can be traded out, blonde hair, black hair, brown hair, it doesn't matter sometimes, but if it really matters to you, then you wanna circle this one that's like, they must have this, okay? The second list is everything that's a non-negotiable in a relationship. Like you will not tolerate, like maybe they smoke and you're not a smoker. That is something I would not tolerate in my relationship, right? And so what is it for you? And then the third list, the most important one is, who do you need to be or to become to attract that great king or queen into your life. And so this is where we get to identify where are the holes, where are some of the things that you can be working on in your life that you could be upgrading. You know, one of the reasons why I believe I found my way so quickly was I was working with my personal coach and they were pointing out some of my blind spots, some of the patterns that I didn't see. And so if you don't have someone like that in your corner, reach out to us. We'd love to support you. We'd love to help you. Okay. Or one of our coaches will. So have someone that's able to help point out some of these things that you could be working on. You already know inside what some of these are. So don't fool yourself. This is the most important part of it. So if you don't get clear on this and you're not truthful with yourself, you're not going to operate at the frequency in which your partner operates at. 
may take a long, long time to find them. So you got to get working on yourself. All right, so those are the three lists. Now, let me give you just two minutes of some faithful actions that you can actually incorporate in your life so that you can make a world of difference. All right, so I was working with that executive client that I was telling you about, and he traveled a lot. And so one of the things that I started to explore was like, how does he set up his his room when he, you know, gets into a hotel or how's his house look, you know, with his closet and everything. And we started getting some clarity there. And I said, well, if you're going to operate out of faith that this person's going to come into your world, into your life, then you need to start acting like it. We need acts of faith. So I said, when you're in a hotel room, don't put your stuff, your suitcase on the opposite side of the bed. When you're at home, Make sure that you clean out a space in your closet where her clothes would go, right? Where would you have her towel when she got out of the shower? Where would you have her shoes? And started clearing out, he started clearing out all the space for her to make it available for her. Also, we started cleaning out time on the calendar. And why do we clean out time on the calendar? Well, that was to spend with himself, but it was really as if he was already going to block that time to spend quality time with his partner. And so we want to make sure that we block off some time throughout our day and our week because when this person comes into your life, you already want to have that habit or that ritual established. Now, I know people will say, well, Joe, what if their schedule is different? I get it. And for the purpose of this, most people, I'm speaking on a mass level here, most people, their schedules will align or they'll make it happen. And so, you know, clear out time on your calendar. And you might say, well, what do I do with that time I clear out before I meet them? That's the question. And here's the answer. The answer is this is where you get to go to work on that third list. Every day that you schedule that time where you would spend it with your partner, well, that's spending it with you and upgrading yourself, working on yourself, removing some of those road, roadblocks, those limiting beliefs, those old patterns where you just uproot them. And then you start to install these new beliefs, which comes to the last part. If you're going to have this great king or this great queen show up in your life, what would need to be some of the new belief systems that you would have to operate under? You know, for me, one of the belief systems was that is if you always got into a fight with your partner, if you ever got into a fight with your partner, that you weren't meant to be, at least for the long term. You can tolerate it for the short term, but long term, no way. And my pattern was I started to see that and actually Christina helped me break that pattern. And now my belief is when we have a speed bump, when those challenges arise, and my belief is they do arise in all relationships, that they're studying dozens and hundreds and thousands of relationships, I've seen that everyone has their quarrels, okay? So anyway, I started this new belief system that when we do have a speed bump, as few and far between as they are for us, is that it makes us stronger. And I can appreciate her passion and I can appreciate my passion. So what is it for you? So what are some of the new beliefs that you would need to have when you have this new relationship? So I'd like you to go ahead and capture those for yourself to identify what you can do in your living situation, your space, even in your car, whatever that might be, closet, your bathtub or your shower, you know, where would her stuff go? Her razor, her washcloth, whatever, her shampoos and conditioners and all the other great things that women have in their shower, right? Where would you put that? Or men, same thing for you women. How would men, what would you do for the men? And where would you clean up the closet? Maybe you need to clean out, you know, part of the garage to attract him where you can put his toys or his tools, whatever that is for you. So this is where I'm going to ask you to go to work, go get in state, put on music, get in an empowering environment, have fun with this, set your intention before you do this, that you're going to have fun, you're going to enjoy this. And then every day, this is the last component, star this, highlight this in your notes, every day act as if. It's already done as if it's a law that it's coming, right? And show up as your best self. Show up. How would you walk? How would you talk if you were in a relationship? How would you be if you had that ultimate partner in your life? When you go out with friends, when you're single, how would you show up when you go out with your friends as a single as if you were already in a relationship, right? And I know that might sound counterintuitive, but the, the energy that you're going to radiate out is going to attract people around you in. 
They're going to want to know, like, why, how are you so confident? And it's because you know that it's going to happen. And so you just got to walk, talk, and act like it every day. You got to be able to do that. So with that being said, I hope this helps. I know it's helped me. I know it's helped many clients down the road, my mentors. And so I continue to use this recipe for success with clients. Here's what I know. Every one of you watching deserve an incredible, passionate, loving, trusting relationship. You deserve it. Everyone deserves it because love is at the core of us all. And we all desire that. So go out there in faith. Go out there knowing that God, the universe, your creator has actually created someone already for you. And you are in the process of drawing them in. Show up each day radiating that energy that they're coming closer to you. And have faith and trust in that. You deserve it. If you feel like you need help. If you feel like that you could use some assistance, discipline, pointing out those breakthroughs, please reach out to us here at Master Life by Design. Come work with Christina and I or one of our coaches so that we can help support you in this process because look, having an ultimate relationship, the one that's perfect for you, there's no amount of money that can be placed on it. None. I'd rather be in love with my partner and broke than to be rich and alone. I don't know about you, but I think if you're watching this video, you would agree with me. So we thank you today for watching our video. Go ahead, check us out on YouTube, subscribe, click the subscribe button below, leave us a review on this video, what you think about it, what could be improved, what went well for you. If you find your ultimate partner, come back, let us know. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram, subscribe to our pages. We also have a podcast you can plug into. Please leave us a review on that, we appreciate it. With that being said, go out there, make today count. Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one, guys. See ya.